Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the video review of Transformers Prime, brought on disguise, or PRID, as some people, <coughs> evangelists, say it. Weaponizer, Optimus Prime, as you can see here. First of all, he stacks off nicely with the Viacon. Took me forever to find a Viacon. And I'm going to search him for one for about, mmm. Say three months. I was searching, just going into every store of battle. Three months. Straight. And then, you know, finding nothing. Every time. And then, going to one like a week ago. And I found one there, and it was kind of a really what the hell moment. Um, then I go into Walmart to get him today, and I find. Two more of him. And I'm like, oh my god. But then again, got him, and I saw those other two in two completely different cities. So, yeah, I mean, I live in Indiana, and I found him, him, and the two others in Kentucky. So, you get the idea. Back to the review, because I've dawdled long enough, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Not sure if it's gonna help at all. No, it did not. Okay, so this is gonna be a very dark review because my lighting is going absolutely crazy. Um, I'm trying so hard not to bump the camera. It's not funny. No, hold on, let's get this a little closer. What's that? Alright, so. First off, posability. His head is on a very limited ball joint. And he can look kind of to the left and kind of to the right and uh, kind of up and not down at all. His arms are, well, standard now. They can go out a lot and this piece raises up further loose on both sides actually. So this doesn't get in the way at all. It has a bicep swivel, which is rare, especially for prime toys. Bends at the elbow. And the hands rotate. They're not a ball joint, but eh. You know. It's a $37 toy. Um, legs. They go forward and back just fine. They're ratcheted. I love it. Knees. Ratchet as well. And now the truck starting out. Have the swivel just above the knee. Swivel. And the foot can pivot, but it's really tight, so I just don't. So yeah, he's really uh poseable, but his knee ratchets are a little loose. So I kind of have to lean him forward a little. Get him to stand. Mm. Alright, come on. Come on. And don't look bad for like my three viewers. Granted, one of them is my mom. Hi, mom. Um, there he's standing somewhat. And he's completely out of frame. And just... So yeah, um, what can he do? He's called Weaponizer. First off, he has this huge backpack. For a reason. I'm pretty sure you've already seen it. It's back here behind his head. But, push his yellow button. And this way. This way, not that way. If you push it that way, it's jam. If you do it right... Oh yeah, giggy giggy. One more time. And see, his chest lights up, and these spin to go over his shoulders. This is really cool. Um, now transformation. Oh yeah, he comes with the gun too. It fits in his hand. And, yeah. 
Um, I personally, I think this would size a little better, like as a pistol. But I nipped the tab off of this because it's on the side. I mean, who holds a gun like this? For the record, who has a triangle burled gun? But I'm not here to talk about the vehicle. I'm here to talk about this guy. No transformation. Instructions say to put his hands like this. You don't really have to, but I'm doing it just for the sake of ease. Alright, come on. Rotate, come on. Rotate. Rotate. Next, you take him. And you... Yeah, that's not pretty. Flip that in. Uh, next, I usually just put his feet together now, just to save the effort later on. Turn the top in pretty good. Um, what? Well, I've got to run down the right for a sec. I'll be right back, right? All right. Put that open. Take this. And put it over his face. While trying not to activate the machine guns. Or chain guns, gatling guns, whatever you want to call them. Um, next, take his arms. Bend them at the elbow. Bend at the elbow. And then, uh, this is where it gets kind of tricky, because you have to fold it back like this. Then fold it so that it's like this. Rotate. Fold. And then... His window tits are supposed to clip together, but they're not seeming to want to right now because they're not held in place right. Um, let's do that again, ladies and gentlemen. Why isn't this working? There we. Somehow, maybe, thank you. Next, take the arms in these, god damn, there's pegs right here, and there's slots. Right there on my thumb. See it right there? And those tabs go into those holes. As soon as I can get the part in. Nope, whatever. F it. Gotta make sure they go into the appropriate socket. And. It can be a challenge. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Arms are in place. Next, all we have to do... Take these pieces. Do it later. Take these pieces with the smokestacks. Rotate them. And then flip them down and back around, because I did it wrong. Because I am a tart. Flip it and rotate it like that so that you get a nice little box here. And that sometimes happens. Okay. 
Now there's a tab here, right here. See it? It's that big thing right there. Gotta make sure not to hit it, because that's what activates the guns in trucker mode. Take these, flip them around, and those tab in there. Okay, so something's not working, something's not working. Will it work? Will he ever finish the review? Find out in the next half hour. When Transfan finally finds out how to transform his toys. Hold on. Okay, the shoulder wasn't pushed in all the way. So bring that down. You flip in that tab. And then you reconnect these because they are pains in my butt. And yeah. legs up all the way. And there you have Optimus Prime in truck mode. Not nearly as sleek as he is in the show, but. Hey, it's Hasbro. Give him a break. But this is just... Wow. Hold on.